Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And today we are going to ramble about The Orville, the uh, show that's on Fox, uh, created, uh, produced, and starring Seth MacFarlane. At least I believe he produces it, would make sense anyway. Um, a show which I think, and many do, that this is the spiritual uh, successor to Star Trek. Not meaning that it's in the Star Trek universe, but the feeling that the show has is a very classic Star Trek feeling to it, especially the stories. You could pull these stories out of the Orville and you could easily use them in a regular Star Trek series, whether it's with the classic or with... Uh, Next Generation or Voyager, it these stories work. I mean, minus you know the uh, some of the Seth MacFarlane humor that's in there. But even so, I I I love the little humor that they were kind of throwing in there in season one. Um, but the stories are very they're um, they're the stories that made the original Star Trek great. I mean, they were uh, situations that made you think. Um, one of my favorite episodes of the Orville uh, was the one where they went to the planet and you were either getting liked or disliked and it brought a it brought a scary uh, kind of realism uh, to it because it you know it's kind of like this whole politically correct world where you have to be afraid on what you say to someone because if they don't like it you know they wind up disliking you and if you wind up getting me getting too many dislikes uh then they lobotomize you you know the, it's part of their correction program um so it's kind of a kind of a freaky little thing because something like that could you know easily you know happen in, in real life if if things aren't uh carefully you know you know looked at you know if, if people you know lose their freedoms or, or whatever and something like this something like this takes over but um, and another one that I really liked is the one where there was this uh, civilization on this huge freighter that had no idea they were on a ship they thought they were just on a planet and I thought that was a very, very Star Trek-like uh, episode. So it's had some, it's had some really good ones. Um, but uh, so Orville is coming out with season two, and I've got the trailer here, and uh, haven't watched it yet. So I saved it for this rambling video, so we can uh, watch this together. And see how it's how how it is. I'm sure I'll like it. <laughs> Get us out of here now. It starts now. Okay. <laughs> I like the look of the Orville. It's such a cool In looking ship. In the vast ship. emptiness of the universe, we have found a fullness of cultural diversity. And when a first contact unfolds, the cosmos becomes a living, breathing organism. And we become a way for the universe to know itself. Wow, that was pretty good. Yeah, thanks, I plagiarized it like nine different things. <laughs> I'm receiving a distress signal. Check Union records for any previous contact with that star system. Negative, Commander. Oh, 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 baby! This is what we signed up for! All hands, this is the captain. Begin prepping all stations for first contact. The are gone! Get us out of here now! 
Captain. I don't believe it. Lieutenant, give us a little more. Yes, sir. Dumbing it down. All right, here we go. Man, this is bitchin'. Look at that. We'll come back. You have my word. Portis, I thought it might be fun to do, like, a joint party. Is this an order? No. Then I do not wish to have a joint party. Why not? I prefer my birthday to be my day. He's afraid he's gonna get less stuff. I am not afraid. Warden, take a shuttle and find the captain. Aye, Commander. Don't do this. Let's go. We are not your prisoners. We have 24 hours. All I ever wanted was for you to be proud of me. I am capable of causing you great pain, Captain. The planet's breakup is accelerating. Hope this works. It'll work. I think it'll work. Hmm. Take a message back to your people. Sweetness. On behalf of the Planetary Union, welcome to the galaxy. Before you click away, do me a favor, subscribe <laughs> to this channel. It means a lot to me. Alright, so... <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, so um, we don't need to watch the whole thing of clicking on the Orville uh, channel. I mean, you obviously can go ahead and do that on your own. And I've got a link to the trailer uh, in the description, so you know, go check that out. Go subscribe to the Orville get all the latest good stuff about the show it looks good um, I know I, when I first saw the trailer for season one I was kinda like nah I don't know if I'm gonna be interested in this but I gave it a chance and I watched it anyway um, when it was on Hulu and I just absolutely loved it absolutely loved it so although this trailer just kind of meh um, there's a lot of things that I'm seeing in it that I like. Uh, a lot of the visuals are really cool. Um, and I see some very potential good stories in there. So and this seems just like a typical trailer for, you know, any type of TV show. Um, but I feel pretty confident that season two is going to be really good. I, I thought season one was great. I'm sure season two will be good, too. So anyway... Let me know what your thoughts were um, about the trailer. Are you looking forward to the Orville? Um, are you more of a Star Trek Discovery fan instead? Do you just not like either show? Or do you like them both? Um, actually, I like, I like both of the shows for different reasons. I think I like Orville better than Star Trek Discovery, but I don't hate Discovery. Um, I think it's its own thing, whereas the Orville is kind of its own thing, so... I like them both, you know? You know, in, in, in this world of science fiction, why not have both, right? So, anyway, that's my thought. And interested in your thoughts, comments below. Uh, until then, I'll see you on the next rambling video. If you enjoyed my rambling in this video, then I hope you'll check out my others, such as these on the screen. I make plenty of them on a variety of topics. Subscribing is appreciated and it lets you know when a new one comes out. Thanks a ton for watching.